Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video. Be sure you hit that like button, subscribe for us. So we've got a $350 AR-15 right here. This is a, a build. And uh, we didn't buy a bunch of random parts from janky websites to do this cheap build. We actually just went to Paul Mother State Armory and ordered a whole kit. I'll put the link in the description for this kit. And aside from that, you do have to buy uh, your stripped receiver. You can buy that at pretty much any gun shop for anywhere from $40 to $60 typically. Um, it's got the FDE furniture on it. It came with this Magpul furniture for the price. The actual build kit itself was $2.99, like I said. And this is a 5.56 with a 16 inch barrel. Uh, does not come with a magazine. You gotta buy that separate. Um, so guys, we have a pretty interesting thing. So we're gonna be shooting some brass 223. And then I have the dreadful steel case 223. And hopefully, it will run this. It will run this. It will run pretty much anything. Um, now I do have a challenge for you guys. This, uh, if we can sell 50 items off of our uh, our website, the link in the description for merch, um, we will torture test this. And I mean dirt, sand, mud, just beat the heck out of it. But only way I can do that if you guys, uh, if we sell about 50 items, because that'll cover uh, all the damage we do to the gun. But anyways, uh, I do like the American Tactical. Uh, lower receiver because it does have that flared magwell. But let's see how this thing performs. This will be the first shot fired out of this gun. This is brand new. That's why I've also got some safety glasses just in case the guys at Palmetto State did uh, had a lazy day or something. You never know because basically if you watch the build video we're pretty much just building the lower receiver. The upper is already going to come fully assembled for that price. Alright so we're going to start like I said with brass 223 See how she chambers the round. Chambers perfect. So let's take a shot here. The cameraman's got his ear pro on. Alright. Let's uh, shake the neighborhood. It's always sketchy shooting that first shot. Ooh. Better my function here. All right, guys, let's get around the chamber here. This is the brass once again, brass two, two, three. All right, let's see how she fires. Safety glass is on. to try with the steel case because we obviously we know it's gonna run this brass pretty good once again that's brass two two three all right now we're gonna make sure we're empty we are empty all right so real question will it run steel case two two three this is like the cheapest crappiest ammo you can buy this is like the uh Russian to lupa or to it starts with a T I can't remember off the top of my head all right you guys in the comments can let me know all right, let's see, can we function with steel case 223? I don't know, here we go. Okay guys, so this thing, that's pretty impressive. I know we've only fired about 10 rounds through it, but typically, if you're gonna have any major cycling issues, you're gonna get those fresh out of the box um, and I've seen that a lot with a lot of really expensive rifles that will not run steel case 223 so if you can build a gun that could run that and only spend a fraction of the money for instance I've got a mark 18 at the house that will not run steel case okay 223 this thing basically will outrun a twenty two thousand dollar twenty five hundred dollar AR-15, okay? That's a pretty impressive thing. Like I said, this is a $350 gun. This thing is sweet, guys. It's a super, super uh, exciting gun to have. Uh, like I said, if you guys want to see a torture test on this, you need to buy some merch, and me and Zach will do a torture test. And we'll do, you know, we'll run it through sand, mud, dirt, you guys name it. Uh, even, <laughs> I don't want to drag around the four-wheel. I don't want to bend anything, but I don't mind 
really just putting it through the ringer and seeing what this thing can do guys anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or if there's any sort of uh certain material you do want to see with this gun let me know in the comments this is a one in seven on the twist uh if you guys want to down the road maybe test accuracy or something like that out chances are it's going to be relatively accurate because it does have a 16 inch barrel on it um but everything's pretty standard this is a bare bones gun nothing fancy about it no upgrades uh, anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video be sure you like subscribe thanks guys